uh, conditions. But someday you have to give them the gift that you know you're gonna start today and, and make him feel still important for yeah. the team. Um, but we'll see. At the moment, um, it's gonna be with uh, Coque and Llorente. Um, Llorente is performing for me better, closer to the goal. But obviously, Joao and Suarez no, has no room there. And, um, and let's see what happens. But I'm a bit surprised about not seeing uh, three at the back. OK, uh, what about up front? Uh, Luis Suarez was criticised, I think, uh, for a poor performance against Real Madrid, basically due to, to fitness issues. In and then you take him off, you put Correa, Correa when the player is happy. So possibly they won't be 100% happy, only the players that play every single week. But you have them all more or less um, ready, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. So, um, is it He's back and, and you draw your inspiration for that interpretation to the way he changed at or around halftime against Los Blancos. It was much more offensive. It got them back into the game. And Lodi, individually, you're talking about system, had a really good time, the young Brazilian. So I, I think for sure that Carrasco um, will be playing further forward, giving support in midfield, left-footed talent, particularly given that Saul is absent. I buy your idea that this for Atleti today is 4-4-2 again. We will find out shortly the players and officials heading out on to the turf at the wonderful... A bit more attacking. Let's hope it starts today, Andy. So we are underway. Atletico are top of the league in a three-way tie. They're only top on goal difference, so they need a... Of ...match sharpness, so there are hopes for the youngster. Here's Raul Guti taking on the shot. Here's a promising run from Jao Felix and a good ball. Luis Suarez going down. Now, where was the offence committed? It's a penalty. It was inside the area. And John Donald has made a disastrous start to his La Liga career, conceding a penalty inside three minutes. What a baptism of fire for him to have to contain Luis. Carrasco back to Jao Felix. Oh, and there's gone down is that Barragan I think nominal strike force and he might be on in with a chance here as Lamar feeds him but it's too heavy the pass and maybe Lamar could have cut in I think it's Renan Lodi who's down it is after he uh, tangled with Raul Guti the Elche midfielder actually maintained possession end the leg and pull the ball out of nowhere his cross comes in from Barragan but uh Boyer hadn't caught up with the Boyer turning away from Hermoso brought him down quite heavily Boyer but able to keep the ball and now Trippier gets forward is he gonna be able to keep it in no it was just too far ahead of him when they defend he isn't fed well and here's Luis Suarez breaking through Verdu is gonna get a yellow uh. card who are down in the relegation zone at the moment Atletico away at Real Sociedad who are one of the three co Renan Lodi looks for Suarez Verdu gets in and stays in a good position to make the challenge and clear in marshalling his defense for years Savic playing in a similar way and here's Joe Felix who's a very different kind of play is Lamar and it's played short for the Llorente to strike and Edgar Badia with a improvised save Atletico is good ball forward from Lamar to Joe Felix the cross is cleared by Barragan it's nice because Lamar waited Renan Lodi doesn't reach him and a foul on Llorente making the run and that's a really good ball but no one had gambled and you just saw the, the frustration of moving over to the left wing and sliding the pass for Carrasco who's able to cut it back as Verdu comes across the starting lineup today but very much an Argentine influence with an Argentine owner Argentine yeah. coach it does go to the near post and it's easily cleared as far as Carrasco who mishits his shot and no trouble there for Ed not produced the opener yet but here's Lamar with a great run and a good shot that Edgar Badia had to hold because there were two players he can do both jobs I'm not going to argue with him here's Lamar sending in the cross that Verdu gets ahead on and Tete Morente for Tete Morente now Edgar Badia under pressure from Luis Suarez was able to get a faint touch but it was enough John Donald only clears as far as Luis Suarez who's taking on the shot and drags it wide and his physicality to your game he's the man and he's returned to the squad to that beyond not scoring I'm not certain that they've done enough great control again by Boyer who Renan Lodi supporting him Carrasco taking it oh. on there's a strong challenge from Hossan who arguing he won the 
Kieran Trippi is unmarked at the far post. It's cut back instead for Jal Felix, who gets underneath it and it spoons high. Forward. His cross is a good one. Luis Suarez gets the opener. And Atletico do have the breakthrough. LJ were within sight of the half-time interval. But the first time he's got forward to put a delivery into the box, Kieran Trippier made it count with a perfect pass into the stride of Luis Suarez and the faint touch from the Uruguayan on his 200th La Liga appearance gets him yet another goal as the ball rolls into the corner and a wonderful delivery from Trippier as Lamar again heavily involved in the build-up. The tale of a goal foretold. We were pointing out that when they are clicking, when they're in the same team... Suarez helped onto Jao Felix, flicked onto Llorente, who's going to get a shot away, but he sends it wide up, charging out, and uh, it falls loose to Carrasco, and for a passing option ahead, doesn't see one, so squares it to Lodi, who's bundled over by Jos. A crowd of players around the penalty spot as Carrasco going for goal, and Edgar Badia is able to gather it, a free kick in... Me. You look back, and this is a game you've won. As a free kick is conceded by Carrasco, as he brings in the middle. It is Hossan, and it's met at the near post. Atletico 1, Elche 0. Old is making way as well. The debutant will play no further part with Juan Sanchez Mino coming into defence. So a couple of changes at the break from Almiron as the introduction of uh, Rigoni is for Josan Fernandez. So we'll see if that changes anything tactically. A couple of Argentines brought on at the break. As a challenge comes from Josema, taken quickly. Luis Suarez to the byline. Here's Jao Felix with a bit of space. Holds off a challenge, gets a shot away, but cut out. Without exception, Gutierrez looked the most near post. Trippi has another chance now, though. And that, again, is easily dealt with and whacked away. No thought of go. Suarez, Jao Felix in Lovely. the middle. Might reach Lovely. Suarez, and it what does. And he's got his second yeah. goal. What a great delivery. The and Suarez could foot. miss. Yeah, Andy, that you called it. You knew your tone went up the instant that the ball was released. That was, as, as an assist goes, that was world class. We've had two brilliant deliveries for Luis Suarez today. Firstly, the subtle pass rolled into his stride by Kieran Trippier in the first half. And now... The players need to believe him. Flick on and a chance for Boye, who scores! It was uh, Morente with the initial header at the near post, and there is Lucas Boye rising at the far post to head home and give Elche a lifeline just when it looked mm -hmm. as though the last half hour would become something of a procession for Atletico. We have a game on again. We're doing this a really, really good eventual finish. A flick on here from Correa, and down goes Diego Costa, and a penalty's been given, and look at the reaction. Yes, he can. Confidently sends him the wrong way. And so Atletico Madrid are back in the driving seat. The two-goal advantage restored. It's Diego Costa's second goal of the season. A confidently struck penalty. There will be debate about whether it should have been a penalty. Yeah, he hadn't scored since Granada on the first day. He's largely been... Oh. Kane... Takes a look up. Throw it. 